Hey everybody, it's your friend Downware. We're continuing the Final Fantasy journey with Final Fantasy IV Interlude. To be honest, there's not really much gameplay in Interlude, it's just kind of a setup for all the stuff that happens in the after years. So I'm able to fit the whole entire Interlude thing into this video, which should be about 42 minutes long or so, I think. So a little bit longer than usual, but I didn't want to split it into two videos. Anyway, enough babbling, let's get going. It's the crystals, or one of them. What the fuck? Uh, that was interesting. I found it. A new form. Who's there? You cannot comprehend my existence, but still I will tell you, I am. Cecil. What? Wake up, Cecil, it's time. Cecil! Are you alright? You were flailing about like you were having a terrible nightmare. Mmm, it was nothing. Well, today is the ceremony to celebrate the reconstruction of Damsey, and you know. We should really be going. The Red Wings are ready and waiting. All right, let's do it. Hey, it's Sid. You're late, Cecil. We've been ready and raring to go for ages. I came straight here. I'm gonna follow behind in the Enterprise. So you go ahead to damn Sid. You got that? I think I can follow those instructions. Lord Cecil, we can depart at any time. Shall we set course for damn Sid? Yes. One thing I noticed in this interlude is for some reason they made the goddamn airships. You can't control where they fly, and they fly extremely slowly, so most of the time I'm going to fast forward it. Not this time, because it's the credits. Hey, it's Radia in the Fey March again. I guess she wants to be 60 by the time she comes out next time, since time flows differently here. Just forget about the human world, Radia. Please stay here with us. I love you, Radia. Do you love me too? More than anyone else in the world? What the fuck? I wish I looked like you. You're so pretty, Radia. All right, Radia. Time to get away from these stalkers. So let's leave this dump. Oh, it's the Queen. Are you going somewhere, dear? Yes. Today's the celebration of Damsian's reconstruction. Perhaps it would be best for you to return to that world now, Rydia. Perhaps that is where you truly belong. Queen Asura, please don't say that. The Fey March is every bit as much my home as the human world. Hearing you say that puts my heart at ease. Then go, Rydia, and return to us safely. I will! I'll be back before you know it! It's gonna be 300 years in the future for her when she comes back. Considering she went from a child to, like, 17 or 18 before when she went there and came back. But I guess we'll just ignore that fact. Because she doesn't appear to have aged much. I don't think. We'll see. Now what? We'll be arriving at Dempsey and soon! Oh! It's the Enterprise! Sid never fails to amaze. He's already managed to catch up with us. Full speed ahead, you slackers! Sir, there's no need to make it a race. I think there is. Look at these blinding speeds. Oh my god. They're breaking the sound barrier and shit. Look, an almost regular speed. And we're there. Oh my god. Slow ass airships in this thing. We shall await you here, sir. All right. I'll be counting on you, Biggs. You too, Wedge. Please express our well wishes to King Edward and the rest of the Dempseyans. We will. Biggs and Wedge show up in a bunch of the Final Fantasy games. I'm pretty sure it's a Star Wars reference. Oh boy, of course he's playing his stupid harp music. It's Edward's place. Where the hell are you? King Cecil, Queen Rosa, thank you for coming. This way, please. It's the secretary in training. Ah, it's the Bratz. And Sid and... Yang. Greetings, honored guests! I must first express my undended gratitude for all of my dear friends who have come to join us here today. It is only thanks to your generous support that Damsian could be restored to the bustling town you see before you. 
And so, to celebrate our reconstruction and to show my appreciation for all that you've done, I would like to take this opportunity to... Get on with it already! Good one, Palum. Oh, bitch slept again. Palum, hush! Ha <laughs> ha! I missed your candor, Palum, you little shit! Then let me dispense with the formalities. There is just one thing I would like to say. Damn, CNO owes its revival to all of you. I will never forget this debt. Thank you all. Edward has grown to be a splendid king. Sure he has. Indeed. Well, let us leave the speeches and formal talk here. We must enjoy this rare time together with such dear friends. Translation, you can go talk to everyone now. All right. Queen Rosa looks rather pale. Has she been unwell? I never imagined that all of our honored guests would be able to make it. Your friendship shall be the greatest honor ever bestowed upon our kingdom, I'll say. Oh, Cecil! What's wrong, Yang? Is something bothering you? Oh, it's nothing, but would you look at our Edward? He has put together a fine celebration here. Uh-huh. Just what I would expect from Edward. His castle's full of friendly folks, huh? It's been too long, Cecil. I'm so glad to see you're well. I sure am. Mingling together with his people, yes, King Edward lives true to his beliefs in every aspect of his life and in this castle. Whatever. Look at you, Cecil! Finally learning how to act like a king, huh? God, I hate you. That kid just never stops talking shit. Rosa, hello! Oh, forgive me, I was just lost in thought. <laughs> you were lost in thought. Good one. Oh, good one, dear. Thank you, Cecil. I never thought the King of Baron would be able to make it out to see me. Are Radia and Edge not coming? They said that they would. I suppose they will show up sooner or later. You must be right. But what have you done with the crystal? <laughs> of course you would be the first to notice. Well, you have completely opened the castle to the public, you idiot. I can't imagine anyone will go after the crystals again, but... Don't worry, my friend. I have thought of everything. Sure you did. Pardon me, sir. I need to hit this button. Whoa, a hidden door! Of course. Quiet, Palum! It was hidden until you shouted it out to the whole crowd here. Don't worry, it is not just anyone who can open this door. The crystal will be safe here. Sure it will. I better go in there and check on it. Looks like it's still there. So this is Damcian's famous fire crystal, huh? The opposing force to the water crystal we keep in Basidia. Come on, Palum, we should go back. What, are ready? Come on, Palum, just let me check it out! Is it time for another bitch slap? Are you serious? We finally get to see everyone and you want to stare at a stone? You guys were stones, remember that? Good times. Jeez, you're such a nag! I better just check on this crystal real quick to make sure there's no funny business. The fire crystal silently sheds its light. Alright, everything appears to be in order here. What the... What the fuck was that? Huh. Guess it was nothing. Must have been my imagination. That's right, Cecil. Definitely no funny business going on here. Not at all. Excuse me, my lords, my ladies! Who's this? What was that noise? Is that supposed to be him running? I'm sorry to interrupt, but we've just received word of an incident on Mount Hobbs. Oh no! What was that? Tell us everything! Our lookout on Mount Hobbs sent a message, sir. He reported finding a group of Fabulian monks beaten and unconscious near the summit of the mountain. Well, they're pretty terrible fighters. Edward, forgive me, I must go at once! Are you sure you should go alone? I shall go with him. Cecil, you don't have to. I do, I have a bad feeling about this. And I'm going too! Cecil! I'm in your debt again, friends. All right, let's do it. Off to Mount Hobbs we go. You don't need to watch me traveling there. It's not very exciting. So we're there. How are you? Oh, King Cecil, it seems the number of monster attacks is increasing again. Please be careful in the field. 
when am I not careful, right? All right, we made it. Bunch of pussies. Are you all right? They're still breathing. We need healing here. Rosa, pay attention. Rosa? Huh? Oh, I was lost in thought again. My brain hurts. Thank goodness their wounds were not serious. I would expect no less from any monk of Fabul. What happened here? Master! Your wife, Queen Sheila, has... Watch! We were on our way to Damsian to inform you when we were ambushed. Oh, shit! Yang, this presence! Can you still fight? Of course! Alright, so we got two Krillins in our party. Hooray. Dad bomb! Oh, shit! I hope it doesn't tell dad jokes. That's my job. Energy stored for double attack power. That's right, I'm focusing on his ass. And he turns into... Steroid dad bomb! Using blue flame on us. Eh, that hurt a little bit. Oh yeah, you got D-leveled down to like level 30 when this starts, so... I don't even have all my spells. I don't have Kiraja, I don't have Haste, I don't have uh, Reflect, any of those things that are quite helpful. But I do have two nameless monks, so that's something. And everybody comes pre-equipped with stuff, so... That's something anyway! It's gonna explode! Was that it exploding? I guess not. 1,000! Eat it! There we go. Some Kiraga action. It was gonna explode like 10 minutes ago. What's the holdup? I'm- I'm waiting for the explosion. Where's the earth-shattering kaboom? There it is. Oh, he turned into six dad bombs. And Cecil just got wrecked. Yeah, he's still alive, so that's good. He took away all my rare items and shit, too, that I spent way too much time getting in the last main game part, too, so I've just got crap weapons. It doesn't really turn out to matter too much. There's a couple of boss battles and interlude, but none of them are too difficult, I don't think. Here we go. We're almost done with this bomb garbage. Send in the monks. We need the bombs diffused. And if there's one thing monks know, it's bomb diffusion tactics. There we go. All right. Our foes grow ever stronger. I will return to Fabul. Cecil, Rosa, you should head back to Damsian. We're also worried about Sheila Yang. And I may be able to help with my white magic. I I cannot thank you enough. Then let's be going. Two monks have joined the party. Oh man, maybe I should learn their names. Or not, you men return to your posts. Yes, master. Bye. Thanks for nothing. The monks have left the party. Oh, well, that was thrilling. I have returned. How? How is my wife? Your heir should be born at any moment, Master Yang. You mean I am still in time? Yang, go to her. I I can't. There's nothing I can do for her now. Childbirth is icky. Yang. No, until the babe is born, I will busy myself treading the acolytes. Yang has left the party. <laughs> What a great husband and father. I'm not going to be there for my wife during childbirth. That's gross. You know they shit themselves during that? Oh, it's the baby. It's it's here. The baby is out. Nothing gets by Rosa. Sheila! Oh, the smell! Honey, is it? It is a very healthy little girl. Hooray! A girl. My daughter. She's so small and light, but feel how warm she is. You've done it, Sheila. Congratulations. Why didn't you even tell us you were expecting? I didn't wish to take away from today's celebration. 
You never change, do you? Cecil, I have something I'd like to ask of you. Would you consider being my daughter's godfather and giving her a name? Sure! Well, then. H how about, uh, uh, Ursula? There we go, that's a good one. Oh, that is a fine name! It, really? It is? A very strong name, Cecil. Not at all reminiscent of villainous Disney characters. I think she likes it. You have named her well, Cecil. Ursula, aren't you glad we asked your Uncle Cecil? Thank you, Cecil. You know, babies that are just born can't talk, right? That's... The Falcon! Slow as ever. But the Falcon should be in the hands of the dwarves. Sid, what are you doing here? Looking for extra, that's what. There's talk of monsters pouring out of the sealed cave, lad! What? We dwarves can't beat them all on our own. And I still have no face. So the Elder told us to do whatever we could to help. And I will do the same. Do not forget me! Already trying to be a deadbeat dad, huh? You should stay here with your family, Yang. But I don't want to be a good father! There's nothing to worry about, Pops. We'll take care of everything. Thank you, you shit. Let's go, Rosa. Um, yes, of course. Rosa! She's gone white as a sheet! I I'm fine. We need to go. Rosa, please stay here in trouble and rest. But, but I must... say so. I'm sorry to ask you, Yang, but please take care of Rosa for me. She is a woman and of delicate constitution. I understand, Cecil. Broads, am I right? Sid, take us to the sealed cave. I'll go ahead and get the Falcon ready. So, something's going on with Rosa, but they're not going to tell us what it is. Black Mage Palum, White Mage Porum, and Engineer Sid have joined the party. Oh, goody. What a great party. I'll be fine. It's nothing you need to worry about. Just be safe out there, Cecil. There's definitely not something I'm not telling you. All right, let's get going. Back on the Falcon. Lord Cecil, you ready to depart? Of course I am. In that case, slow motion air shipping to the rescue. Fast forward time. There we go. Hey, in the slow panning shot of Eblin Castle. Fast forward that too. Your Highness, we will gladly guard the castle in your stead. However, you are aware that the celebration in Damsian ended hours ago, are you not? Well, might as well see that for myself! Very well, Your Highness. Be careful. When am I ever not careful? Shit. Of course, Your Highness. I didn't mean to suggest. That's more like it. I'll be back in a bit, you son of a bitch. Try to tell me what to do. Jeez. Yeah, they have these random flashbacks, or flashes, to what Edge is doing. We're approaching Agart now, Assert. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> I said Agart, so I said Cert. Makes sense, right? Fast forward again, Jesus. Alright, we're there. Into the sealed cave. This place still sucks. And since I'm de-leveled, I don't have Reflect. So these stupid door monsters can now do this to me, with me having no recourse but to eat it. Goddamn... Ninth... Dimension bullshit. <laughs> well... <laughs> Palum looks pretty funny when he's dead. Oh, I got knocked the fuck out! I got a snot bubble coming out of my nose! Alright, so yeah, it's not very exciting. Not pictured me fighting 47,000 of those doors to get to here. What?! What is it, Cecil? This ought to be familiar. All right. Looks like we'll finally have a foe worthy of the future Sage Palum. The wall is coming at us. This has never happened before, except for the time it did in the in the main story. Oh, it's the demon wall again. Who keeps rebuilding these goddamn demon walls? That's just irresponsible and reckless. All right, I'm gonna use a Bacchus's wine and get some berserk up in this bitch. Don't have haste or anything good like that. I got Berserk. 
But I don't think I noticed it during this battle, so I didn't use it on Cecil. But I do have one random item I picked up that gives me haste. Hermes Sandals. There we go. Palum, burn down that wall. I don't really understand the stone gaze move. At some point, you see, like, a description on the side that says slow petrification, or gradual petrify, that's what it said. So I assume that eventually they'll turn to stone, but I don't know how many turns it takes, because it doesn't happen in this fight. So they're pretty generous with that. I think at some of the games you get a slow petrification. You can kind of see the gray shit creeping up your, your character's character model, and then they just turn to stone and they're dead. So, I don't know why they recycled the Demon Wall boss, but they did. He just likes gradually petrifying everybody in my party, because he's a prick. Uh, while nothing really is going on here, I'll point out my friend did explain to me the ending of the main game that I didn't quite understand, which I still say is partially because they did a really bad job of portraying it with the little shitty cinema and everything, but... They showed that your planet has two moons, one of them's the one the Lunarians are from, and apparently it's a spaceship. And what they were supposed to be seeing when they looked at it through that telescope was that the one with Golbez and uh, Fusoya on it activated its ship mode and flew away. And that's why Golbez sent you the farewell message, because they flew the, plant the moon out of the solar system. So that's what, that's what happened there. I was too busy trying to fight a face in the sun like an idiot, so I didn't really see it. Alright. Demon Wall, zero. Cecil and Pals, two. We did it. Now what do we get for getting past the Demon Wall? The Crystal Chamber. Hey, it's Rydia. Rydia? What's she doing here? What a girl. She can't even sleep in a place like this. Bitch slap. She's not sleeping, you fool. She's dead. Oh, no, she's not. Rydia, can you hear me? Where am I? You're in the sealed cave. Why didn't you come to Dempsey like you were supposed to? I... Must go. What? You don't look too good, Rydia. No point in dallying here. Let's take her back to the Falcon, Cecil. We'll figure out what the hell is wrong with her. Oh, yes, at once. Rydia has joined the party. Again. Let's see if she's still got her, all of her kick-ass moves. Okay, she's got shitty low-level magic and... No summons! Leave her here. She's worthless. Alright, so we leave, and then she acts weird again. Rydia? They're calling me. Who's? They? What's going on in your head, girl? Let's get her out of here. She doesn't know any summons. We'll go leave her with Rosa and the Useless Brigade. Ah! No face. Rydia, why is she here? We found her unconscious in front of the crystal's altar. They're calling. That's not creepy at all. Slow pan. It's their favorite thing in the interlude. To the Tower of Babel. And it glowed kind of pinkish reddish. Nifty. Did you see that? I did. I'm not blind. See what? I didn't see anything! You are blind. The Tower of Babel just shone for a moment. The Tower of Babel... Rydia! Shall I set course for the Tower of Babel, sir? Well, sure. How's that not a good idea? Alright, let's go! Blah blah blah, grab onto something. Rydia appears to be in a trance and says, Let us go to the Tower of Babel, and we're all just like, Hey, that sounds like a good idea. Meanwhile, in a pointless side thing that I'm not going to really show much of, you play Solo Edge, and you run through this cave, and then you get to the Tower of Babel. There really is no point in it at all that I can think of. 
I knew it! Someone has been here! Let's unmask these bastards once and for all! Alright. So he snuck into the tower himself. I guess that means he's gonna meet us there. Slow ass ship again. Sid, please stay here. We wouldn't want a full party or anything. We'll need you on the Falcon and ready to support us should things go ill. You can count on me. You lot be careful out there. I'll just be here on the ship getting my suicide vest ready for another explosion. Yeehaw! All right, into the Tower of Babel. And I'm not going to make you watch this because it's not very interesting. There's four different doors you come to and a hooded figure shows up and it's just some random enemy. Which you kill like this. And then it gives you one of your summons back. We get... Some mon. Right here. Obtain the ideal on Shiva. Okay, this is still weird. So that happens four times. So here's my representation of it so you don't have to watch the whole thing again. It's a green dragon. It's dead. Ta-da! And fast forward. We get Ramu. There really is not much to this whole interlude thing. They could have made it like five minutes long, but they wanted to add some gameplay to it, so they put all this crap in there. Got Ifrit! And this thing actually beat the crap out of me because it does Earthquake and I don't know Float yet, so I kept getting hurt by it. And we got Titan. Alright, we got those four. Now this happens. Um, right here? Where you- what? The door is locked! Cecil, watch out! Something's coming! Uh-oh. Ah, shit! It's just Radio wearing a robe, obviously. Oh, shit! Three giant Transformers! Well, how hard could it be? I'm gonna go ahead and berserk Cecil. So he doesn't have to think too much about what he's gonna do each turn. He'll just mindlessly attack. Bluff! Increasing my magic power! I didn't really use that very often. I guess you didn't really need to. It's just a feature you can use. But I figured I'd use it just because you know, I hadn't done it in a while. And I wasn't sure how hard my magic would work on these guys. And I've only got three people to fight these three giant monster things with. Thousand damage. I have no idea how many hit points they have. Alright, Blazaga, let's see how this goes. Bam! Emergency! Entering final mode! Final mode! Uh, final mode! Guard mode! Uh-oh! It's Megatron! And he's got a beam attack! That probably is gonna hurt. Yep, that hurt a lot. What the? Blitz! Edge! Yeah, I know it's been a while, but this really isn't the time to chat, you know? Alright, Edge. Now we have a chance. And, plus they gave away that electricity hurts it by having them use Blitz. So, we'll stick with that. This ought to make this go a lot easier. I guess this boss is somewhat difficult if you don't catch on to that... them giving away that lightning works on them. Of course, when he when he's off screen, he does 9,000 damage with Blitz. When he's in your party, he does 3,000. The nerf of people being in your party continues. Nine, 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 nine. Kind of like when we fought Yang in that fight, and he had like 8,000 hit points because he wasn't in our party. So you know they had to make him tougher. Yeah, all right. So. Nothing too exciting in this boss fight, I don't think. Once we get it... Once we get a full party... And he doesn't really do that beam attack, I don't think, again. Maybe he does, we'll see. Electromagnetism! Well, that's inconvenient. I guess that's petrification? It's hard to tell. He doesn't look like he's stone, he looks like he's paralyzed, but he just turned gray, so... Just when I was getting ready to, uh... Try and fix it with the Suna, the battle ends, so... I don't know if I can actually cure it or not. We'll never know. See ya! Stupid Megatron. 
There we go. Die faster. Appreciate it. Alright. Ninja Edge has joined the party. I should have known you would all be here. What? It was just for a sec, but I saw this tower glowing with my own eyes. Then it's true. Yep. I don't know who it could be, but someone's trying to get this thing running again. No way. But Rydia is. She's here too? Yahooey! I'm gonna bang that broad. Let me in. Keep it in your pants, Edge. Uh, she vanished. What the fuck? Rydia! Where'd she go now? Well, we have to find her. Alright, so... We gotta wander a bit farther. And then she is right over here. Still acting weird. Rydia! Thank goodness we've been looking for you. What the heck are you doing in a place like this? It's a good disguise, huh? What are you talking about? What? But I'm not fooled that easily. That's not right here. How could that be? Then who is this chick? Remove all obstacles. Oh, shit. And she's got the four summons that we gave her, so that's good, whoever you are. You bitch. It's... Rydia and Shiva. Alright. Guess we'll use some blitz action. It doesn't let you actually hit question mark Rydia, I don't think, during this fight, so you just gotta kill the four summons. Go ahead and berserk Cecil. Keep using the fairly ineffective ninjutsu with Edge. I never really used it that much during the regular game. I'm sure it would have been helpful in some situations, I just never got around to it. Damn, 8600. Nice. She is an ice enemy, so it makes sense that fire hurts her. Like so. You suck, Edge. Oh well, she was dead. Next! Oh boy, it's Ramu. The only one I'm worried about fighting is Titan, because when we had to fight the random enemy that did Earthquake, we got fucked up pretty bad. You saw the end of the battle where Radio was dead, but, uh... We don't know Float yet, because they de-leveled all my characters when they started Interlude. So I can't use the spell that prevents Earthquake from hurting me, so I'm probably gonna get torn up by it. So I gotta get past the three scrubs first before we fight Mr. Fancy Speedos in the battle to the death. Aren't you dead yet? Just die! You're not gonna beat me! We'll flood him! That'll take care of him! Alright, he's dead. Next! Flood! Which won't work because it's on Rydia, question mark. Rydia? Miss. She's summoning... Ifrit! I used my fire sword on the fire guy, what do you know? One damage. Who saw that coming? Too bad I berserked him, so that's all he can do is attack. Oh well. I'm sure he still won't be that hard. Alright, we'll use Blazaga on him. That'll work, right? I don't know why these summons don't actually do their special moves. They do, like, regular attacks or some magic attacks. I guess because you, they would probably kill all of you if they did their special attacks. Way to go, Cecil. Really contributing there. Fira, I scoff at A. That actually hurt a bit. Nice shot, Cecil. He tried to attack Brady at question mark. Now's when the fun begins. Put some pants on, you exhibitionist hippie. Alright, Mirage, that will definitely help me against his earthquake attacks. Maybe. Probably not. 
Alright, he's not doing anything too dangerous so far. I'm not too worried. Three hundred? Lame. Alright, fire doesn't do shit to him. Or at least, not an extra amount. Oh, quake! Good! Let's see how much this hurts. Ow! God damn it, he killed my healer! You fucker. Well, this may be a loss. Not looking good. I need a heal! Okay, good, he missed. That probably would have killed him if he had hit. God damn it, I shouldn't have berserked Cecil, but too late now. Quick heal! Oh shit! Ah, oh, fuck. We're probably gonna die if he gets to do whatever move this is. He's powering up right now. Kill him now! Kill him now! Die! Fuck. He's gotta be getting close to casting his move. Whatever it is. Oh, thank fuck. I thought he was gonna kill all of us there for a second. What the shit? When did you get Bahamut? She's even more powerful than the real one! Watch it, guys! I think we might be fucked here. Yeah, we're not- we're not hitting. And it's Bahamut. And we're like level 30. Um... No? No, thank you? Ow! Hey, it didn't kill us. Nice. Well, what are we supposed to do here? Awaken, hallowed father of the Eidolons! Radiant breath. Hey! You know what that means. The real righty is here, and she's breaking her dead mother out of the mothballs. Righty -a? What? Which one's the real righty -a? What took you so long? Rydia! I can't believe they used you all for something like this. I will never forgive this! What's going on? Uh-oh. Well, at least it healed us before the fight. How tough could she be? It's just a little Rydia clone. Oh, Meteor! Oh, good! Oh yeah? Bahamut, how do you like that? I'm glad she still has all of her summons. I figured it would've only given me the default ones. Okay, let's see how much damage this does. Ow! Well, you killed the goddamn healer again! Son of a bitch. How about some bio action? You weirdo. Whatever the fuck you are. Alright, Mega Flare. Woo! There we go. Oh, shit. Shit fuck. Ha! You missed! You're terrible. Alright, I need to revive my healer. That would probably be good. Use my shitty, pathetic healing. Oh, god damn it! Okay, good. She didn't die. I figured she'd, she'd die from that. I'll use Asura! Or Asra! However you pronounce it. To heal myself. Asura's boon. Come on, heal, not protect. Protect will not help in this situation, so don't do protect. Protect is worthless. Don't do it. You did protect. Thanks so much! God damn it. And... The healer's gonna die, isn't she? She's only got 96 hit points. Hey, nice, she lived. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're back in business. As long as she doesn't do another Earthquake move. You dirty bitch. And I think we're good. And I think we got this. How about one more Bahamut for the road? Uh-oh. Everybody's low HP. Well, two people are anyway. 
Say goodnight, bitch. Whoever the hell you are, you Radia impersonator. I should have known she was the fake Radia because she has the evil goatee. There we go. Victory. I learned haste just in time to not be able to use it anymore because this is pretty much the end. She vanished. She disappeared. But just who was she? I guess we'll never know. What the? Eidolon system completed. Okay, so something just happened there. Guess we'll find out in the after years. Thank goodness everyone's all right. I was most worried about you. Please rest easy. I want you well again. But I am well, Cecil. Then what? You're what? So how is she? Is Rosa feeling better? Well, she... Cecil? She's fine, or she will be in about nine months. <laughs> I knew I should have used condoms, goddammit. You serious? Congratulations, Cecil. Oh, it's been one miracle after another. Shut up, no face. So that means Cecil's gonna be a dad, too? Can't wait to see how much you suck at that. You'll have to start thinking of names. I know. Ursula, too. Names? And credits. So yeah, not much to interlude as you can see. There's a short credit sequence here, which I skipped through so you can see this thing at the end of the credits. Hey, Emo Kane's still alive. And he put his helmet back on. You. Uh. Dragoon. Who's there? And fade to black. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the interlude of Final Fantasy IV. Next, we'll be doing the After Years, where you... I think it skips forward a couple of years, you get to see all the children... And then more stuff happens with that weird Rydia clone, I think. I can't really remember exactly what happens. And we even get to hear what happened with Golbez and Fusoya and all that, too. So, if you guys like this, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at D0WNWHERE. And if you would like to, you can support me at Patreon.com slash Thanks for watching, guys. We'll start the After Years next.